What's going on, fellas? How the hell are you? This is Islander. Welcome back to the island. All right, boys. Today, we're going to be talking about the top five improvements for this game as far as they are up in my little head, my, uh, my little ideas on, on how we could possibly improve this game. And in the comment section below, guys, I'm going to want your feedback on my ideas, okay? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, give me your feedback, and maybe we can improve on these ideas just a little bit, all right? And when we're done talking about the top five, uh, we're going to jump over to the new event, guys, all right? The 4th of July event is coming up, and it's coming up really soon. Uh, they got some uh, neat little sneak peek. They actually put out a trailer today, so y'all make sure y'all go over and check that out, all right? Maybe if I remember, I'll put that uh, link in the description below for that video, but it should be popping up on most of your screens. If not, run over to the little uh, newsroom over here to the side, the little envelope. There you go, next event. So you can catch it right there. You don't, I don't even got to give you the link. The link is already in the game for you boys, all right? All right, let's not uh, jabber on too much. Let's get into the top five right away. Number one, the Aries train. It is time to address this bad boy, all right? And uh, those of us that are running the Aries train know just as good as anybody else that this thing needs to be addressed pretty soon, all right? It has become a problem, not necessarily for uh, high clan versus high clan matchup. It's all well and good there because we're meeting each other in the middle both running our own trains, all right? The problem comes when you have full clans taking on groups of randoms and the matchup is not quite as fair. As a matter of fact, it's very, very unfair. Okay, so on that note, this is uh, my idea on how we address it. This is a screenshot from one of my videos, okay? You can see here I've been locked down and I have that little yellow skin on the bottom of my legs, okay? Now, instead of giving us an umbrella shield like we would get on the uh, Heishi, all right, or the uh, Blitz, okay, instead of giving us that whole umbrella like we have right now, I think they should just cover the bot itself in the skin, and that shield protects only that bot, it doesn't give you the umbrella to uh, protect uh, anybody around you, okay, it doesn't give you the umbrella to protect the other uh, bots that are in the game, and like this, you are subjected to only protecting your Aries and that is it now on that note guys just because we address the Aries train does not mean we're going to fix the problem all right there will be brand new problems coming right behind it in the form of Hades and Nemesis all right they also have shields so when you go out and you're going to eliminate the Aries train all right players are going to catch on really really quick okay and they're going to come up with their little adjustments to fix this problem that has just been addressed so we can't just address the Ares, we need to address the Hades, we need to address the Nemesis, all right? Now, these bots have faster regenerating shields than the Ares, so all you're going to need is one or, I mean, all you're going to need is a couple of those, all right, to be running in sequence, protecting the three Ares that, that are behind it, okay? So we can't be addressing just the, the, the Ares. Uh, in my opinion, all right, we need to address the Nemesis and the Hades as well, also giving them this type of retribution skin instead of being able to give yourself that umbrella to protect everybody, okay, you only protect yourself because it won't take long for the guys to make adjustments, all right, for, for the clans to make adjustments and start using uh, a mixture of the, the Nemesis and the Hades along with the Ares and still running the train, uh, thus not fixing the problem at all. All right, so this is my solution to uh, the Ares train, as it's called, or any type of Greek bot train, which will be coming up in the near future if they only address one bot. All right, so y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Let's get back into the game. All right, uh, number two, economy help, guys. And this is uh, a little idea. All right, and it comes down to the repair cost. And every time we have a battle at the very end, you know, you have the repair cost. How much? damage did your bots take and how much repair cost there, there was all right and this is very common in a lot of games and the only other game i'm playing at the moment right now uh that i do a little bit of is uh clash of clans all right now supercell which is Clash of clans also had this type of deal where every time your base got attacked all right and your expos and your infernos those of y'all that don't know what clash of clans is just bear with me those of y'all that do play clash know exactly what i'm talking about but every time your base got attacked, uh, two particular weapons and your traps 
One would cost gold to fix, one would cost a uh, pink elixir, and the other would cost dark elixir to refill your weapon. So it's basically a repair cost. Okay, Supercell went in. You know what? Let me jump over there real quick. Let me jump over there real quick, and let's just jump over to Clash. So I can give you guys what, uh, an idea of what I'm talking about here. Great, maintenance break. All right, so we're not going over there right now. <laughs> All right, boys. So basically, these things would cost you like a repair cost to refill your weapons, okay? Supercell did away with that, all right? And it has been a big plus for the economy of the game. They have done some other things in that game, and I would like to address those maybe on a later video, but they have these little per uh, perks, all right? They have the, the legendary hammer, which uh, in one fell swoop automatically upgrades an entire, uh, like we have weapons and boss that we upgrade. There you have cannons and archers and stuff like that that you upgrade, all right? And they take just as long in that game as they do in uh, War Robots or just about any other game where you have upgrades. Of course, there's upgrade time. Okay, with this, you have one fell swoop, you hit it, and you earn these perks in the game, and you can do an upgrade at, with zero time uh, to wait, all right? One shot, and you're up. And that is a good idea. I like what they did with that. I would like to see something similar to that come here where you could do an upgrade uh, and with one shot, your, 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 your bottom stuff. I got to snap my finger. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I talk with my hands a lot. Don't judge me. All right. In one fell swoop, we could do an upgrade. That is pretty neat. I would like to see maybe in the future something like that come. But first things first, if we could eliminate the repair cost, I think that would be a nice plus all right, in addressing the economy. Okay, maybe not necessarily getting a better payout. Of course, I'd like a better payout, and that's going to be later on the list, but that would be a big plus because the amount of repair cost that we have on some matches is pretty steep, all right? So I would, that would be a big help in my opinion, all right? Of course, bringing back the 25% uh, discount. That was huge in the last event. That was so awesome. Whoever came that came up with that idea over there, Pixotic, man, two thumbs up to you, brother. We all loved it. We all loved it big time, all right? I would like to see that maybe come into the, the premium package. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, number three, in-game dropouts. These guys are really becoming a problem, all right? And uh, basically what an in-game dropout is, they drop in a game, and they the game doesn't start off the way they want to they don't like the way it starts off so they immediately just drop out of the game and move on to another game of course they they're uh they get into the problem of tanking later on and a lot of them probably don't care all right they get into tanking they play a few matches they get out, out of the tanker issue and they go right back to what they were doing all right they are looking for for their players they're looking for specific matchups that best meets them to give them the best opportunity to win. Instead of going in there, just playing the game, grinding it out, get the silver that you get, work on your upgrades uh, so that you can improve, all right? They're not looking for, for, for grinding, all right? They just want to be first. They just want to win. They want to competitive. And if they're not going to be competitive, they're going to drop, all right? Now, my solution to this, all right, and this has come up in the past a couple of times, all right? But a, a big a solution that you would have to a lot of these in-game dropouts uh, would be one eliminate the ejection button all right where you get to eject your, your robot and jump into another bot that little button is that's got to go that's that's my own personal opinion all right y'all let me know what y'all think now this guy can see where that would be a problem uh in a regular match uh in a team match i, I would assume but the fact that you give somebody the ability to drop out of a bot and jump into another bot all right or just drop five bots straight or just quit uh, all, all, all out together, I think is an issue. So eliminating this button is one, all right? Two, even if the person were to drop out of the game, uh, if somebody drops a game, maybe a 10-minute delay, in other words, they are still stuck in that game, so they cannot drop into another match for another 10 minutes if they have been ejected. Now, I can see where this would be a problem if somebody were to disconnect from a game. And I know some of y'all are going to give me that in the, in the comment section, all right? But being dis disconnected from a game does not happen every single game, all right? So when people come up, well, I disconnected, and then I disconnected again, and then I disconnected. Well, then you need to call your service provider and get a better, better, some better internet, all right? That, that's the issue. 
Okay, so this is just one of my ideas. This is one I expect to get the most heat on. All right. And the other thing that, that, that was brought up was even if you leave the game, all right, your your five bots, your minimum of your five bots will have to drop into into the match. Uh, that was something that somebody else brought up. I wasn't all really keen on that. I wasn't following the idea, but he did bring that up that uh, in a free-for-all match, if you drop out and you quit, you will drop at least five bots, even if they're not moving because you left the game, five bots will drop on your behalf. You will take the negative silver damage of that game. So if you leave a game early, okay, and your five bots are automatically forced to drop into the game, even though you're not there, when you log in back to that, uh, your game, you're going to be minus about three or 400,000 silver in your purse, all right? Now, this could go a long way as to making people stop dropping out of games, all right? Uh, it would be a, a help, okay? Because I'm not understanding why people drop into a match only to quit, all right? So that was number three, guys. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. And uh, I, I already know the heat. I'm going to catch from you guys on that one. I really, I can, I can already feel the fire burning, boys. All right, number four. And this has been a long time going, the matchmaking. All right, now I'm not going to cover matchmaking for a whole lot because they are at this current time working on the matchmaking. They've been working on the matchmaking. They're looking for ways to improve it, okay? Uh, so we don't really want to press that very much because they've already taken steps and are taking steps to improve it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just because we know matchmaking is an issue. I went ahead and added it to the list. All right, now we're going to jump over to number five, the economy. All right, of course, a better payout at the end of the game. All right, but one thing I, I did want to bring up, and this is more love for, for, for my grinders out there than it is for uh, the high tier players, uh, in-game bonuses. All right, now you can see my hanger here where I have everything MK2. I have uh, most of my pilots are, are ranking up pretty fast. And this is what my pilot looks like on this bad boy right here. Okay. Now, I am MK2. Uh, I do run my pilot uh, as, as far up as I can get him. And it is a disadvantage to somebody who is getting pulled up in to Champion League for Master 2, Master 3, Master 1. And being paired off uh, with, with a higher caliber player. Okay. Now on this note. In game bonus is what I want to address. So if you are coming in. And you're getting dragged up. Into uh, champion league play. And you're being pitted against. Uh, champions and MK2 players. Every time you get a kill. Every time uh, you affect. Top three. Anything that you do in that game against a higher tier player, I believe should get some kind of little extra silver bonus. All right. Uh, player X killed Islander who was MK2 would out. Player X has a hanger of level 10 bots, level 10 weapons, level 11, level 11 weapons. Okay. So he's way down on the food chain from where I'm at. Okay. But he affected a kill on me and, uh, his damage versus my damage, of course, he's using lesser weapons, all right, or lower level weapons. So I think there should be some type of retribution bonus for getting the kill and for the damage he afflicts on a higher tier player, okay? Now, how does that work out for me? That doesn't work out for me worth a damn, all right? That doesn't help me out in silver worth a damn. But let me tell you this, you know, even though the, the economy is not where it's at, I'm still getting a pretty decent payout on silver, all right? I can still pretty much get anywhere between 800,000 to a million silver per game. And if I'm running a booster and I get a video, you can see that bad boy jump up to uh, 2.5, up to 3 million silver per game with all that included and the premium, all right? So you know, I do all that, run premium, booster, and a video. I, I am cha-chinging in, all right? And yeah, I, I that's what I do, okay? But not everybody does that. So if you have a lower tier player and he's not running a booster and he doesn't have MK2, and he does come up and he kills me a couple of times. Give that boy a bonus. You know what? Grab a little gold star and lick it and stick it on his forehead. All right? He did good. And let, let's go ahead and reward him. So how much does it work for out for us up in the top league? It doesn't work out very much at all. All right? It really doesn't. But I would like to see more lower tier players move up, get into MK2, get into uh, their pilots, you know, get 
try to help them boys move up just a little bit, all right, so we have some better gameplay. I'm not looking for mismatches, all right? I'm looking for some good, fun, old-fashioned, slobber knocker, get in your face, knock the hell out of each other competition. That's what I'm after. I, li I like the, the brawling. I like the 50-meter the fights. That's what it's about for me, all right? So let's go ahead and move over to the 4th of July, boys. Those, and by the way, guys, that was my top five. Those things may not be in your top five, all right? That's why I want your feedback and I want your conversations on Messenger. Let's exchange a little conversation. Today is my day off, so I will be getting back to you guys a lot faster than I normally do, all right, when I'm out working, all right? But those are my top five. Y'all hit me up. Let me know what y'all think, boys. All right, 4th of July. Let's talk about 4th of July a little bit. And here it is. This is that little teaser that they just threw out. Video just came out. Y'all go check it out. All right. It's called Amongst the Stars. And that is a 4th of July. One thing that I did catch on this. Uh, this is going to go ahead. I'll probably make this my thumbnail. That's a beautiful picture. Uh, one thing I did catch on this and I loved it. I don't know if we're going to have special weapons for, for this event, boys. But look at that. The bald eagle on sitting on top of that weapon. Sweet, boy. <laughs> that, that is sweet, man. Pixali throwing a little love out uh, towards the 4th of July. Uh, you know, an American Independence Day, we love it. Love it, love it, love it. I like that, guys. That is a really neat touch. And if they have those weapons, uh, i sorry, boys. I'm going to drop some coin to get those those damn weapons. I got to have them eagles on, on my guns, all right? That is just awesome. So this is coming out. And one thing I did like about this teaser, and here it is. Uh, it's called Amongst the Stars. Uh, that's what they're calling it. But go ahead and take a read this down here in the comment section below. Commanders, are you ready for the next event in War Robots? Let's talk about rewards. This time you choose what robots are inside of the chest. What do you want to get? Tell us in the comments. Fenrir, Tyr, Loki, Al Guang, Al Jun, Ares, Hades, Nemesis, Invader, Mercury, question mark. So in this comment section, guys, when you see this video, go make sure you go in there, drop a comment, and you tell these boys what you want to see, what kind of bots you want in, in the in the next event, all right? Uh, you guys don't want uh, Leos. You guys don't want Carnages, all right? You guys don't want more Spectres. Uh, you don't want to get uh, a Griffin. Sorry, Lottie. Uh, Y'all don't want a Griffin, you know? Uh, Lottie's the only one that wants the Griffin or the Invader. I mean, the, the Raven. Uh, but, you know, you tell them what you want. And I think this is a really nice touch, all right? It's a really neat touch that they're reaching out to the players and asking you, what do you want us to put in there? What do you want to win? All right, we already know, guys. It's, you're going to see uh, Ares all over that comment section. Everybody wants the Ares because it is so supposed to be the top bot at the moment, all right? Although, let me get it inside your shoe with my Ares, and I'll show you how the cow eats cabbage uh, with my pursuer, all right? Okay, but I did like this touch uh, that they're bringing uh, to this next event, all right? The players are going to choose what rewards are in the box. Uh, on that, guys, that is a two thumbs up. Looking forward to this event. The last event was epic. It was awesome. It was badass. It was all that and a bowl of rice, all right? I really did like it a lot. So this is coming up, and they do add a specialary weapon or special weapons with the ball legals on top of it. I'm all over that. I am 100% all over that. Can't wait for it. Looking forward to it. All right, guys? Guys, if you're new to this channel, hit that sub button. Also, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the stuff we're going to have coming up here. All right, boys? And if you did like this video, knock the hell out of that like. I really do appreciate it, and it helps me out. And until we talk again, boys, this is Islander signing out.